Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. How are you doing? I hope you are all fine. Today is a very nice video. Today I'm gonna do the full face using only the Beauty Blender. This video was inspired by Tati, which I like so much. She's like really beautiful. I love her so much. So uh, she's the one that I saw doing this video. If anybody else did this before her, I'm sorry. Please let me know to credit you, but for now I'm just I'm gonna credit Tati. So if you wanna see a whole face using only this body right here, so keep on watching. So primer. Again, I'm gonna be using my uh, Catrice primer. It's very cheap and it works just as fine and just as good. It's the Prime and Fine Free Refining Anti Shine Base Primer. So I'm gonna be using this one on all my face, and I'm gonna be using the I'm gonna be, 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 be <laughs> I'm gonna be using the NYX Pore Filler around my nose and all the areas that I have pores. So let's start with that. Gonna prime our face. And sorry for my hair, you guys. I know it's like looking so bad, but you know, curly hair problems. What can we do? I really hate to go to the salon every time and do my hair because I feel like my hair is very dry. And every time I go to do my hair, it just becomes drier and drier and drier. So I'm trying to avoid that a little bit. I mean, all the girls right there with curly hair can understand, you know, my. Uh, what I'm saying okay so we apply the primer all over our face it's really like we know that our beauty blender is gonna work just as fine with the primer and all the liquids so that is not a problem at all I think the, the problem here or the real challenge is gonna be the eyes We'll see. Again, I'm using the pore filler just a little bit. Just a bit like that. And put it on my nose. And I have pores right here. This. So we're done with that. Now we're gonna use foundation. And again, I'm going to be using my Catrice HD Liquid Coverage Foundation. It's cheap in Europe. It's like 6 euro and it works wonderful. This one is the best one I could find. Like I tried the Maybelline one. This one is really good. But this one, like for the price, like 6 euro, I think it's like 7 or 8 dollars. It's a bargain. It stays put all day. It does not move. I don't know what to say. I slept with this foundation on and it did not move. I woke up with the same foundation like just as I applied it. And the problem is I am very oily. I have an oily skin so I wear foundation after two hours, maximum three hours. My oils comes out and I start to look very oily. But with this, never. It never happens. Especially when I, when I put on top my Bobbi Brown powder. It just looks really good, you guys. You're gonna do this first. Apply more because I need more. More is more. Apply extra to the nose, my forehead, a little bit to my chin. This is the areas where I need more coverage coverage. We're gonna apply my concealer and again I am using the Instant Anti-Age Eraser Concealer. It's the famous Maybelline concealer. It's very good. 
So. Okay, so I always, usually I, uh, people bake like their under eyes with loose powder. I don't do that, so I have loose powder but I use it for my face and I just set my under eyes with this Essence Brighten Up powder. This powder is like 3 euro and it works amazing and again the person who I saw using this, I recommended it is Tati and she said it was very good and she's totally right this is really really good for the price you just set your under eyes and they are not moving like all day you are fixed so I just put it in the t-zone also and then I would get my uh, loose powder put a little bit like this and set the rest of my face Usually I would do this with a brush, so with a beauty blender it's a little bit weird. And by the way, you guys, this one is the... This loose powder is called... Um, oh yeah, it's pale yellow number one. This powder, you guys, it just blurs your face. If there is something the foundation did not fix, like if you had a little bit, little bit texture or something, this powder does the job for you. I would kick out a little bit of that powder, the first one that we applied, with this one like this and yeah that's it for the powder just put it back ah. okay for now so I'm thinking I will do the contour and uh, blush first and then we will do the eyes so I will start with the contour and again I'm going to be using my Kiko palette. This palette is really nice, it was around 14 euro I think, something like that. But it does have a highlight which is a little bit too dark for me so I don't really use this highlight so much. Sometimes I use it as an eyeshadow. But it does have three colors as you see for blush and then two colors for contouring and bronzing. So first let's start with contouring. With beauty blender, wish me luck. Oh, <laughs> yeah, this is too much. I put too much. But yeah, it's just applying like if it would be a, a cream contour or a liquid contour, but not. Probably because the beauty blender is wet. But hey, don't worry, you guys. We can always go out, go out, go back with some powder. You know, just our normal powder. and diffuse a little bit so now we're gonna attempt to contour the nose but with this I'm gonna use the lighter shade this one right here I 
Let me see, I'm gonna be using this mirror. Oh my. Okay. Again, go back with the powder just a little bit and diffuse. That looks okay, right? Acceptable. And now we're gonna go to blush. So I'm gonna be using my uh, Benefit California Mini. It's the small one. So this blush, you guys, it smells like peach and it smells like beach. That's what it smells like. I'm gonna be using the back of the Beauty Blender. And this blush is really, really pigmented and it's, you know, an orangey color. So if I'm, I put a lot, I'm done. So just one. Can we see it? I mean, I can see something, right? Not crazy. Yeah, I did something. Cheek. Okay, I can definitely see it right now. I always like to put a little bit more here on the tip of the nose and here. It just it gives you this flush of blood in your face, of blood, of blood in your face. I think it's okay. Of course, it's not like amazing. It looks a little bit harsh, not so blended. But again, we are using a sponge for a powder blush. We cannot expect any better. I'm trying. Next, the eyes. So uh, yeah, I'm just gonna start like with my next palette that I use all the time. Deepen my brows a little bit. Okay, now again clean the tip. A little bit. And I'm just going to go back with my, uh, if it wants to open, with my Brighten Up Essence Powder and I'm going to go put a little bit under the brow bone. Alright. Next I'm going to go to highlighter and this is the highlighter I'm using all the time right now. It's not even a highlighter, it just... A water eyeshadow. It's a wet and dry use eyeshadow from Kiko. This one is number 208. It looks like this. It's beautiful. So, again with the beauty blender. Wow. Oh my god. That's not, that's not bad at all, right? Or am I just crazy? Now that's intense. It needs some blending. Okay, I'll do the same to the other cheek. Alright. A little bit on the tip of the nose, the tip of the nose. On the bridge of the nose also. A little bit on my cupid's bow. Alright, highlighter is done. I really think it's not so bad, you guys. What do you think? Let's go now to lipstick. So, this is gonna be hard. I'm just gonna use this lipstick that I already know it's not like perfect anymore. I 
I fucked it up a little bit. This is the Avon uh, Wild Cherry color from Avon. So I'm just gonna put my beauty blender again, just clean it up on my hand a bit from the the highlighter, and I'm gonna go like this. And the lipstick, oh my god. I fucked up my lipstick on my beauty blender. Congratulations. Actually, with the tip of the beauty blender, it's not really that hot. But it does not want to blend very well. Now I'm gonna go with the a little bit lighter color and I'm gonna put it right here. So I'm gonna use this lipstick from Primark. It's just called PS and in the shade Naked. And a little bit on my upper lip. Okay, so I think this is all done, you guys. I think I will have done my lashes with the with the beauty blender, but we know this is just gonna fuck up the whole look, and it will not look good anyway. But so, am I happy with this? I don't know. I mean, can I go out like this? Not sure. I will zoom you in so you can see a little bit better. Okay, so this was it you guys. Thank you so much for staying till now with me and watching the video and I really appreciate it. I appreciate all the subscribes, the likes. Hi everyone, wanna say hi?